Former U.S. Senator and presidential candidate Mike Gravel believes the government is lying about what happened on September 11, 2001. The storyline of the federal government and the investigation that's been, thus, been done thus far flies in the face of physics flies in the face of gravity. The former senator is launching a campaign designed to get initiatives on state ballots during the 2012 presidential race. Initiatives which would create a citizens commission to open a new investigation into 9-11. He worked on a similar ballot initiative in New York City in 2009. 80,000 New Yorkers signed the petition, far exceeding the requirement, but the city of New York refused to place it on the ballot, citing legal problems, and the state Supreme Court ruled in the city's favor. The government wants to put this over its shoulder for whatever reasons uh, and so you have to go to the people to bring it about. Gravel says unless initiatives are on state ballots, Congress will ignore information gathered by the architects and engineers for 9-11 Truth. A spokesperson for the group says the Obama administration is actively trying to curtail their work. U.S. officials take what we say very seriously but in ways that are designed to cover up the truth instead of bringing it out. We're working within the law to hold officials accountable for keeping their oath of office and to make it harder for the media to ignore and misrepresent us. Nearly 1,400 verified architects and engineers have signed a petition demanding a new and independent investigation into 9-11. A&E for 9-11 Truth says new evidence suggests explosives, not planes alone, brought down the World Trade Center towers and that the free-falling nature in which the buildings fell suggests the destruction was due to explosives. What would be the effect if, if there was a false flag operation uh, and it, uh, leaders of our country were involved in that. Gravel just returned to Washington, D.C. after spending a month in California assessing grassroots support. Based upon my investigation in California, it is there. You got truth movements in Britain and France and Germany, and Italy, around the world. You have, and, uh, and in the Middle East, people that are fed up with American imperialism. Gravel also wants to create an international advisory board to work with the Citizens Commission. He is moving from Washington, D.C. to California in December to work firsthand on the 9-11 grassroots movement. Rhonda Pence, Press TV, Washington.